Hello and welcome to my channel, Hunt Resin. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make these beautiful white and gold resin coasters that are a wee bit different to what's out there. So I've piled everything together to show you what you need to make these coasters. You need coaster moulds, they don't have to be geode, they can be circle or square. You need some alcohol spray, that is rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit in the UK, in a little spray bottle. Sellotape, very helpful for taking fluff off. And we need measuring cups, plastic measuring cups. Some people use weights, which is absolutely fine. Silicon cups for measuring and for mixing, and the little one. And then a plastic cup for coloured resin. You will also need popsicle sticks, little wooden sticks, or anything to mix with. So I have silicon ones and plastic ones, anything you kind of have around the house that should be useful and be able to mix up the resin. You need blue roll, gold leaf, sheets of gold leaf would work well as well, and just two picks are really good for digging out any hairs in the resin. You need something to pop the bubbles in resin. I use a long lighter. You can use a culinary blowtorch as well. Um, I find that that has a, a way of burning the resin, so I, I kind of stick to my lighter. You also need some mica powder. I have a big tub of white mica powder. I absolutely love this stuff. It's really good value for money and it's really pretty and pearlescent. I also use pigment paste. Here I have Resonate pigment paste in, in white. I really love it. It adds more depth to it and you get to use less mica powder. Um, you don't have to use it though at all. If you just got mica powder, especially coloured mica powder, you'd be absolutely fine with just that. Plastic tweezers for the gold leaf and a gold acrylic pen or paint. Some liquid latex, this is usually used for makeup, aesthetics. This is for the underneath of the coaster for when you're doming it. And a spatula for spreading the resin. Something to lift the coasters up again for when you're doing the top layer. I'm using yogurt pots. And very important PPE, so gloves and a mask. This is a dust mask, but you can get a respirator mask, which is very good. The first thing I do is prepare my coaster moulds. I make sure they're clean with no old resin residue or any small fine hairs. I spray them with the alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit. I then use cell tape or sticky tape along the bottom of the coaster lengthways. Then I go round the coaster on the edges with the tape. It really works and gets up most of the tiny bits of fluff hair. The next thing I do is measure parts A and B, A being the resin and B being the hardener, in measuring cups. I do equal parts as I have a 1 to 1 ratio resin. Some resins are different. I have used a 1 to 2 ratio resin before, uh, so do check the resin that you are using. I use measuring cups as I find it easier. Some people do use scales and if that's what you like to do, go for it. This is why I love resin. There are so many different ways of doing things and making things. You can never get bored. So now I'm putting in B the hardener. I'm going to be putting 70 mils of this as I put 70 mils of the A resin. Um, one to one ratio, of course. Each A and B into a silicone measuring cup. These are great and super easy to clean. I highly recommend getting these silicone cups. I have a link in the description. I got these from Amazon. It's where I get most of my products. Um, I do get things on Etsy and a couple of resin companies, but there's a limited choice here in the UK. So I stir these. You'll see the lines while I'm stirring them. What we want is for those lines to go away and for the resin to not be cloudy. This is usually three to five minutes depending on the brand of resin, so check yours. It doesn't hurt to do it a bit longer, but it does hurt if you don't do it for long enough as it will not set. So I always do it for a couple of minutes more after the lines have gone and the resin is clear. You can see here the resin looks nice and clear now with no lines. Once the resin is clear, I leave it for a couple of minutes. This lets it heat up a bit and gets rid of some bubbles. Whilst the resin is sitting, I always clean my measuring cups. It gives me less to do later on and is really quick. To do this, I spray it with the rubbing alcohol again and I use blue roll to really scoosh out all the residue. Uh, just use as much alcohol as you need and you'll have nice clean cups. I also break apart the gold leaf so it doesn't clump in the resin. Now that the resin has been sitting, bubbles should have risen to the surface. You can pop these with a lighter if you have a wide silicon cup. If you're using paper or plastic, please do not use a torch, but you can use a toothpick. I measure out the resin, some for the white pigment and some for the clear gold leaf. I use a silicone measuring cup to do this. 
I do 100 for the white, which leaves 40 for the clear and gold leaf. I always like having more clear just in case I need it. I mix up the resin with white mica powder. This mica powder is Sia, it's from Amazon and it is the best. I put a link in the description of this mica powder and all of the things that I've used today. This gives it such a beautiful pearlescent shimmer. I find on the coaster, um, it makes it look like mother of pearl. I give this a good mix as the powder can clump a bit. Once that has been mixed, I add a little bit of white pigment paste by Resin 8, um, who I love. Their pigment pastes are really, really good. I really suggest you try using them. I mix these together until I get a nice opaque color um, that gives a gorgeous shimmer. I have 20 ml of clear resin in this little silicone cup and then I add the gold leaf into it and give it a good mix so it can go into the middle of the coaster. Now you can get the resin in the coasters. Before you pour the white resin around the edges that I am doing, pop a wee bit of clear resin in the middle of each coaster. This just stops the gold leaf from sinking to the bottom. Then go ahead and pour the white resin around the edges of the coaster, get into all the little cracks in the sides. I then add some resin and gold leaf in the middle, leaving some for later. Once the white is encircling the gold leaf, I then add more gold leaf on top and this makes a nice effect with the white resin coming through underneath. I then do the other one. I add more clear resin around the gold leaf as the white is always moving in. I then add more gold leaf to the coasters to give them a nice shimmer. Ta-da! The coasters are now ready to be put away somewhere safe overnight or for at least 12 hours. I use a square cake box that has a lid so that helps stop anything getting into the resin while it's setting. Night night. You can tell when your coasters are ready to be demolded. They will not be sticky or tacky on the top anymore and they will not be too bendy. Um, if you take them out too soon, you can leave fingerprints. As you can see, I have to hold the coaster while I'm putting on my gold rim here and that can leave fingerprints if it's still tacky. I go around the edges with this gold pen and then I go on top and do a little seal it around the top. It just gives it a nice little accent, I think. I absolutely love this gold pen, the colour is beautiful and it's really easy to apply. So once this is done, you need to let it dry for a good couple of hours. Once the paint is dry, we can prep for the top coat. Here I have the things we will need to do this. On the underside of the coaster, I use this thick blue tape to protect it against any resin that may drip down. I only do the middle with the tape because the edges would be too hard to do with the tape and cut all the little bits. So I use the liquid latex instead. Um, this is really, really good because it just peels right off after and it's super easy to use. The only thing that's annoying is that you have to wait for it to dry, but it's worth it. Once it's been completely covered right to the edges, then leave it for a couple of hours to dry. Once the latex is completely dry, you can put the coaster on the yogurt pots or whatever you have to lift it up to do the top coat. I make up 20 ml of clear resin for this top layer and for the edges. I leave it to stand for about 7 to 10 minutes just so it makes it a wee bit thicker. I don't like it too thick because I find it hard to get the bubbles out if it is too thick, but you want it not runny so it actually sticks to the edges. I then use a silicone spatula to make sure the gold leaf is completely covered and then I pull the resin right to the edges of the coaster. I'm using a spinny cake stand here. It is so handy, especially for doing the edges, so you can turn it around and see what you're doing. I got this from Hobbycraft, they're relatively cheap, and it is the best investment I've actually bought. As always, I'm always checking for hairs and using a toothpick to get any little bits of fluff or hair out. And of course, pop the bubbles. Now it's time to do the edges. 
I always have a bit of resin on my spatula so it kind of drips down and then I smoosh it, <laughs> another way of saying it, over the rim. I do this over and over making sure I get the top of the coaster as well so it's all covered and um, it kind of always drops down to the bottom so you had to have to go over it a couple of times and make sure that everything is completely covered. You'll get the little drops going under the coaster, I wouldn't worry about them too much. I do just pick them up while I'm doing the, the coaster and put it back on but when you leave it to rest it's absolutely fine, I wouldn't really worry too much about them. Once they have set, we can take them out and have a look and see how they have turned out. I think they look quite nice, quite nice and clear. I'm very happy with that. Now we can take off the cell tape and the liquid latex. Typical I started with the hardest part, once I get that bit started though it's absolutely fine. You can see that I'm pulling off the little um, clumps of resin that it makes underneath with the liquid latex and it comes off. I do usually hold the top um, like off the side while I'm pulling it from underneath, it just stops it all from coming off. It does happen and if it does um, <laughs> you just need to put the gold on again and then put some more resin on the next time you do a project so it can be fixed, it's not that big a deal. And there you go, some beautiful finished coasters with the top layer that I find is very nice and reflective and shiny. That's how I make these gorgeous coasters. Just doing a little zoom in there so you can see the beautiful shimmer and the design that the mica powder makes. It, they really are quite elegant. Um, please like and subscribe and I will be making new videos soon.